Welcome to my first race reaction. This is uh, Gander Outdoors 150. Big 
backstage waiting for Todd Hill landing the four, two right side tires and some wedge out. His truck was too tight. Justin Haley is going to win the battle off pit road with his two tire change. Now it looks like everybody's pretty much going, all the front runners went with two there. I think it's interesting you see the 18 of Jones, he got four. Uh, Justin Fontaine jumped all the way up 11 spots because he didn't get any tires. And I think I'm seeing a trend, Bill. These guys think those right side tires might be more important than the left. And that's another piece of your strategy play you talked about. You can get four after the second stage. Let's see if we can talk to our stage winner. Hey, Todd Gillen, Bill Parsons, and the boys in the box booth. Hey, show, huh? I did. Yeah, Great job on that first stage there. Uh, obviously, boss man did a little strategy, fit a little bit early. How's that truck? Can you keep Where up with him at the, if you have to race him at the end? Yeah. Um, you know, I think we're going to get a little bit better this run. Um, you know, make some adjustments. So uh, we'll see where we end up. All right. Great job, buddy. Thanks for talking to us. Nine races this season for Todd Gill on five top tens. That second place finish earlier in the season and a great run at Texas where he led 62. He's back out front. Looks like he's going home. Again, I would think a lot of All right. guys talk to the top of the show will short bit this next stage and try to go to the end. That's where you can gamble to maybe get that win that you need to get to the playoffs. Maybe if you don't have a truck that's a winning truck, but you can gamble and make it on fuel mileage. That could be the key. Only three races remain, actually two after today, before we get to the playoffs. Michigan and Bristol. Stage two. Hey, clap, sorry. Kyle Busch jumping to the hey. right side or inside. Oh, it was obvious when he jumped in the throttle, wasn't it? Man, did that truck accelerate. Hey, didn't get a great start on the initial green flag bill of the race, but that time corrected any issue you might have had. You can see time going. Jumped in right behind him. Snyder struggled a bit. Talk about the importance of how close part of the playoff. Snyder right on that playoff bubble battle. So he needs all the positions he can get. Oh, it's wide. Dead end finger. Aaron Jones up to third in that 18 truck. He's been a pleasure to watch. So much fun to see him slicing through this field. And I Whoa. think he's going to be the guy that can just walk out. Try to check out the loose there. That'd be a great story. It's one, two, for KVM, Kyle Busch in the front, and Todd Gilliland running second with Eric Jones third. Come on, Joe Nemechek, take it over that. Nine laps to go. Jones inside of Gilliland looking for second. And what a story it's been. Eric Jones starting at the rear of the field, subbing for Noah Gregson, and he has taken it to the front, going past Gilliland for second. Putting his eyes on the boss, Kyle Busch. Can you imagine jumping in a truck you haven't been in, hadn't run a truck race in quite some time, and being able to drive from the back all the way to second, and the only person that he's not hey, in this past on the track is Kyle Busch, and he lies straight ahead. It's going to heat up Kyle's game, too. He says, oh, yeah. here comes my buddy, Eric Jones. We know what a talented shoe he has. Got that big monster energy cup with down in Daytona. Ever since he showed up, Bill, at the age of 16, we said this is a future superstar. Oh, without a doubt, he won the second or third start at Phoenix out there driving for KBM. Such a talented young driver. And this is a truck that was fast. I mean, give credit where credit is due. Obviously, Eric Jones has done a great job. But this was a fast truck yesterday in practice as well. And uh, in race trim, it was uh, among the top two or three fastest. You know, most of the talk in the garage events was that it was the best truck here. In practice. Caitlin. The guys have been talking about Eric Jones hopping back into this truck for the first time in, in a while. And I actually asked Rudy Fugel about that exact thing right before this race about the challenges, both for the driver and for the team. He said, well, it's good because we're all very familiar with Eric Jones at KBM. We all know what he needs, what he likes. And he said this is essentially the exact same road crew as well. Daisy, we're about what? Over at KBM won his championship. Thank you. So that familiarity obviously is helping him. The only thing he has said recently is that he's a little bit tight, but overall, Eric happy with 
with the balance of that 18 truck right now, Vince. Well, there couldn't be a, a more comfortable situation considering the circumstances to what this team's dealing with. Yeah, without a doubt. I think the only possible uncomfortable thing was is how quickly uh, and how good he got the seat to fit because he's, it's not like it used to be. He used to, I could have got Michael seat raced back in the day and vice versa. It's not like that anymore. These, these seats are custom made to these drivers. And so obviously they've done Whoa, a great job fitting here into that truck. Dalton Sargent on the move inside He's of Ty pass, Dillon for Dillon. third. <laughs> this is a huge day for Sargent. Jeez, man. He has sure. pouring it on. He gets around Gillen. Two rookies a lot of battling speed in the, the 25 third. truck. We've talked about how he's just steady and consistently puts down top 10 finishes and runs well with the truck. But I think this might be a big charge for him to be able to get around that KBL truck. Maybe stage or Kyle Bush continues to lead as we're closing in on the end of stage two. We're going to break. No copyright strings to this. Nothing gets a family's full attention like my freshly prepared chicken. The delicious KFC, funny dog. You watched the game, Eric Rose right. 150, but the fact it's Kyle Bush and Eric Jones <laughs> is a bit of a surprise. Uh, for Whoa, sure. Jones Eric. goes inside of Kyle, and this is for the lead. Oh, you don't think Kyle said maybe we should have got somebody else to drive that truck. Now, the last time by, Jones had Kyle Bush by two tenths of a second, Bill, and was able to drive up and make the move. How cool is that this kid? Just got in the truck for the first time an hour ago, and now he's leaving Whoa, this race. Whoa, Jones looks like he got a little loose there. Hey, Kyle's truck's tightened up. You're already working with the throttle there on the exit, man. So it's a good sign that this truck isn't handling like he hopes. Eric Jones, the 2015 Series Champion. Dalton Sargent on pit road. The strategy play, Caitlin. Yeah, and talking with his crew team, Doug Randolph, before the race, he told me, for them, it's all about going after the race win, not worried about points. So that is the goal for them, taking right sides only for Dalton Sargent. And Vince, it's critical that Dalton or Justin Haley Geek don't make a mistake on pit road. They already made one. Look, at, look Mike, had to jack it back up, oh, didn't have a regular tire on. I believe that it's costly. Hey, I we're going to take care of this Matt Crafton. I saw the left on the wall. I think we're going to see Eric Jones and probably Kyle Bush both come to pit road so. now because they can safely get to pit road before the next truck gets to the start and finish line. Oh, there goes Jones. The pits. Kyle there Bush too. Eric Jones leading the way in the 18. Kyle Bush right behind him. Caitlin has both drivers as they and come. And these stages are pretty short. Another pit box. Well, there's one. Yeah, listening to both of them on the radio, the feedback was always for them to come together down on pit road. And looking at the 51 truck of Kyle Bush, he was just saying it was getting tighter as the front went on. That Rowdy. Was Cup Series 18 pit crew with them today on pit road. They are working on that 51 truck. And now looking at the 18 on the right-hand side, they're going to go ahead and make it a four-tire stop for Eric Jones. Sniper's out front. The four of Todd Gilliland back on pit road. Remember last time on pit road, only two right-side tires. This time there will be four tires for Todd Gilliland. The truck is still too tight. Out of a lot of the competitors, we saw a big chassis adjustment to the right rear of Kyle Busch. He was complaining He's of that high condition right. that we spoke of earlier. So, oh no, to okay. see how well the drivers communicated to their crew chiefs what they right were trying to do, and how well the crew chiefs make adjustments. One to go here in this second stage. Stuart, Stuart Friesen out Stuart front, Friesen. and Friesen, one of those I battling for a playoff right. spot. So, this is. Big for Friesen to get those playoff points and a stage win that could come in handy down the road. Where, where did he start? Oh, he started at the back. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's the story of today. Eric Jones to the front from the back. Great. Oh, in the finger is Matt Snyder. Run these competitors. We had six start at the, to go to the back uh, because of a variety of adjustments, so we didn't have much of a middle part of the field. I'm just going to call him Matt Snyder. Grant Enfinger took over that second spot for Matt Snyder. Remember, Grant Enfinger, Stuart Friesen, Matt Crafton, all battling for the sixth, seventh, eighth positions in the playoff standings. You know, those drivers are all keeping an eye on one another, Crafton, Friesen, and right. Enfinger, because Stuart they all want to finish ahead of the others that they're battling in points if they by chance don't get the race win as Stuart Friesen collects stage win number four this oh, season. No, we saw Justin Haley right in front six, of Stuart Friesen. He barely four, stayed six, on the lead lap, guys. 
It's been interesting. Friesen wins the stage. Is today the day he gets his first race win? So they've positioned themselves to go to the finish, trying to 